Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, today we'll be designing and animating slides with dynamic liquid animation as the one you can see here. A free template download link in available at the video description, and now let's start and see how this was done. Here I have opened a new slide. Now our first step will be creating our organic fluidic shapes. So, we will go to insert and from shapes use the oval shape. And draw a circle. Then right click on the circle, go to edit points. Click on the black dot, and right click and make sure smooth point is selected. Then all you need to do is use the handles on each edit point and move them around until you have a fluidic shape you like. So, I will continue modifying this natural shapes and design it the way I want. It doesn't matter if your shapes don't match mine, and it should not exact match my shapes here. And now create a new slide and make sure you make it blank. Let's go and bring our shape we have created earlier. Remove the outlines from the shape, and now the first step is to change the colors and fill this shape with gradient. The colors codes used here will be available at video description for exact details. Now modify the gradient from here until you fill it fit your requirements. Next up let's add animations to this. First we'll add the spin animation. Change the timings to 10 seconds. And repeat until end of slide. Choose to start with previous. Let's have a look at it. Now the second animation we will add here is grow and shrink. To give the breathing effect and don't click on it from here because if you click on it from here PowerPoint will cancel the spine effect. So, click on add animation here to add a second animation to the shape. And under the emphasis, let's select grow and shrink. Set it to start with previous. And from the effect options change the 150% to roughly 70%. Click on auto reverse. And for the timings let's keep it at 2 seconds. And choose till end of the slide. Let's see if that works. The grow effect is suitable. Now the next step will be making a new copy of this shape. And make it slightly larger. Send it to the back. Copy the shape once again let's make it larger and again send it to back. And repeat the same steps for third time. And you can go outside the parameters of the slide. And again, we can send it to back. Now for the last time, I will copy the same shape and place here. Change the size and from format choose no fill. Choose the line color and change it to orange and increase to width to 3 points. Now from animation change the rotate angel for that shape and make 30 degree, and reduce the duration to 2 seconds. Now select all shapes, then go to format object and give the shapes some transparency, so we can see it overlapping each other. Rotate the shapes a little bit. Change the shape of the background to this color and increase its transparency if needed. Now let's add our project picture to our central shape. So, click on picture fill insert any picture you like from your computer, but for me I will choose stock image, and I will choose this one. Let's add our picture. Go to picture format crop, and let's resize it to fit in the shape. Then let's increase the transparency of this picture a little bit, so the background shapes kind of show through. I've increased it to about 30%. Now let's play our presentation. Note that the picture is rotating along with the other shapes. And we don't want that, we only want the picture to grow and shrink. 
So, let's go back to our animation pane and remove the spin option for this image there. Now we can go ahead and add my text in here, adjust the size and font type. Adjust the location to a suitable place. Now at last from shape I will add other few more decorative elements around and adjust its color and size to fit the sheet. And here we go so we have this beautiful organically breathing slide. You can change the details and photographs to fit your purpose. Wish you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.